You ever get one of those items where it just works? It just functions and everything about it you like. And I guess the thing is for me the Glock is probably one of those pistols that I just keep going back to. It's simple. It just is what it is. But it's functional and it's reliable. And I recently got this holster from my buddy Robert at US Grunt Gear. And it's, you know, just to look at it, it looks like a typical Kydex holster. Uh, it's an inside the waistband holster and has a nice clip to it. And so I, I went ahead and he made it for actually my 19, but I started putting my 36 in here, my 45, and just started wearing it. And one of the things, though, that I've always liked is to carry appendix carry. But I've never found a holster that I could truly carry appendix. It just seems like it always binds in my leg or uh, it's just uncomfortable after a while. And so I was trying this one and I really, after looking at the holster, I, I didn't figure it would be any different. But I'm going to tell you guys, this is one of the most comfortable appendix style holsters that I've ever had anything to do with. I, I, and I'm not really sure why, except that it's really rounded off. Uh, it fits close to the body, and there's not a huge shirt guard. It does fit to the top, but the Glock is somewhat short. I, I don't know, but it just really fits very well in that, in, in that appendix carry. And so one of the things about carrying it either on your side or in your kidney, which I typically carry it at about that 5 o'clock position, uh, not at my back, because if you fall on your back, it, you could actually break your back. Uh, you could be injured and so I try not to carry it in my back which seems like the, the most natural place to wear it but I really wanted to carry it appendix it makes it really fast to draw and it's the easiest place to cover seems like there's a bulge coming out of the back or on the side and the appendix just the way your shirt rides or whatever it just always rides nice so I put this on and have been carrying it ever since in that appendix style and guys I forget it's on me and so I'll tell you, this is one of the neatest holster systems that I've found. And so we're going to take a look at a few of the features. Of course, we want to make sure the gun is unloaded, and it is. But concealed carry is a lifestyle. It's something that you just do, and you carry it every day. I do. I carry it everywhere I go. I, I work a lot around the house and out in the woods around my house. So my pistol is always with me. And I've tried a number of different concealed carry options. And while I'm not saying that this is my only concealed carry option, it has become my favorite. It has become my everyday go-to holster system. You know, I have some really fancy crossbreeds and some different things that I really like and I really enjoy carrying. Uh, but I'll tell you guys, I'm really surprised. I really feel like that putting this in your arsenal, having this in your kit, would really be a great thing to do. I just It's just so smooth. The clip is unobtrusive. It's just made of Kydex, but it's strong. You've got two nice screws. Uh, everything is well finished. It holds really nice in the belt loop. It goes up to about an inch and three quarter in belt width. And then you have a tension screw right here to be able to tighten or loosen uh, according to how you want to draw it. Very smooth interior. And, of course, the outside is a nice textured finish, which is typical for, for Kydex. Uh, I guess the smoothness and the roundness of these edges is what really attributes this to be so comfortable. So, this also comes in a number of different colors. I know he does, this is the, uh, the tan, but there's also olive drab and black. And then there's a number of carbon fiber textures that he does. And I've gotten a couple of those holsters from him. And... I'll tell you, the quality and the finish is just exceptional. Uh, this is the magazine pouch, and again, he sent it for the 19, and I've been carrying my 26 and my 19 in here, and I usually carry a, a G17 magazine. And it just very well finished, same kind of deal, uh, has these two screws, and this can be loosened or tightened uh, for tension. And then you have this really comfortable clip that's easy to take on and off but yet it retains the pistol without any problem, or magazine for that matter. It just slips in, pull the clip out, it goes right into place. And again, guys, I'm telling you, you can you sit, you move around, it just stays very smooth lines. You get to where you don't really know it's there. Uh, if you're wearing a coat, a jacket, it just naturally falls off your chest so it comes off of your waist just a little bit. So it helps to hide uh, the print of the holster and the pistol. Bringing it off, 
very simple bring it on again it's just really simple if you're going to draw the pistol it's really easy to draw the holster retains its shape as well so it's really easy to reholster uh, which is typical again with kydex but you can get a full grip on the pistol bring it out ready to fire now i will say one thing about your belt and this is a dalf tech force bull leather belt and those guys are the best to me at making concealed carry holster belts. You need to have a really good belt system. And in fact, I'm getting ready to do a review on some belts that I have. Uh, I've been using these belts for about four years. And one of the belts I have, it looks like I've been through World War III. And I probably have, considering uh, a lot of the stuff I do. And it is as strong and as good, well-made as uh, is anything I've had on the market. And so these belts are really exceptional. Again, we're going to get into that a little bit later. But you need to make sure you have a good belt system for your concealed carry holster. Now this holster is made for inside the waistband, but it's really made for 2 or 3 o'clock position. But obviously, it works very well for a kidney carry. And I really like the kidney carry, but again, if you're not careful, you've got to really keep your back up. Any bend to the back, this can print. Uh, but I still like to carry it this way on occasion. And again, makes it really easy to draw your pistol. And because you can't see it, it's a natural place to put it back. And I would definitely recommend that you practice with your concealed carry often. Because you need to have comfort and confidence in drawing your pistol, reholstering it, and having it on you at all times. He only makes these for the Glock series of pistols. And particularly the 9mm. Uh, whether you go with the Model 26, the 19, or the 17. And then he does make it for the Smith & Wesson series of M&P. And so that's it's pretty limited to that. But if you carry either one of those, and I'm not sure if he's going to expand that out from there or not. The price on the inside the waistband holster is $49.95. And then the price on the mag pouch is $34.95. Uh, he does make some different style holsters as well, but again, it's all for either your Glock series or your Smith & Wesson M&P. It just happens to be what he does a lot. Now, Robert's not in the, the holster business per se. He does make, and I'll tell you guys, he makes probably the best uh, gear as far as load-bearing gear, vest, pouches, all kind of different uh, accessories. In fact, Years ago, a buddy of mine had ordered a really nice vest from Robert, custom made, which he does custom orders. And we did a review on it, and the review went so well that Robert called me personally and thanked me. And I'll tell you, ever since then, Robert and I have been good buddies, and I've gotten a lot of different vest systems from him. Plate carriers, uh, you name it. This guy makes some of the best quality uh, gear on the market. So check out usgruntgear.com. And when you get in touch with Robert, let him know that Suit sent you, and he will give you a nice discount. So I'll tell you, you know, this holster for $49.95 is an excellent buy in itself. But uh, Robert will discount it just using Suit in the coupon code, or just give him a call because that's one of the things about Robert. He's down in South Florida. He does everything there. Uh, he's a former U.S. Marine, and he is a master champion uh, IPSIG shooter. And so he does a lot of competitive shooting with three gun and with this. So he knows his gear. He's been in the military. He knows what needs as far as the needs of a vest system. He has a lot of guys overseas testing out his gear as well. And so check out U.S. Grunt Gear. Let Robert know that I sent you, that Suit sent you, and he'll take good care of you. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. What is it on now? Oh, now it's on a <laughs> Now it's on a <laughs>